share and I would like to demonstrate how I use the prone cushion in my yoga and stretching exercises. If you're not familiar with the prone cushion, this is it. It is an ergonomically designed cushion to support you as you're laying on your stomach. So typically I would be laying like this and I could be on my phone, I could be working on my laptop, I could be reading, I could be watching a movie. So it is very versatile though, and that's why I wanted to show how I use it. Um, so if you have a prone cushion and you would like to join in, then please do. And we'll do a short class, basically. Um, and you can get more familiar with ways that you can use the prone cushion. So first off, we're gonna start sitting on it. It's very comfortable to sit on too. It is memory foam, so it shapes to your body and is very comfortable. So let's start bringing our arms up with an inhale, palms together, exhale as you bring them down to your chest. And again, up on the inhale, exhale, bringing hands to heart center. Okay, reach out with your right hand and up with your left for a gentle side stretch and up and reverse other side and up and one more time over to the right and this time open up your left shoulder and look up at your ceiling and back to center and opposite side just waking up the spine and back to center Let's sit back in butterfly pose by drawing the soles of your feet together. And you can just let gravity pull your legs down. You can gently apply a little pressure to open up those hips. Again, it's very comfortable because you're sitting on something really nice and soft. Okay, so one of the other things we're gonna do, we're going to move the cushion to the side. It is very light, so it's easy to move. And facing the cushion, let's put our right foot up on the prone cushion and bring your hands forward, reaching for the cushion as you lower down into a fold. You need to get a good stretch here, your hamstrings. And come up, placing the hands in front of you, let's pivot so that we're facing the front and our legs up to the side now and up and reach over with your left arm to your leg. Get a good stretch this way as well. And come up and reach away. And back up. One more time over. And up and away. This time you can stay. If you would like to, reach for your right foot, grab it on the inside, and extend up for a little bit deeper stretch here. And now lower your leg back down and come up. And I'm going to flip this around so I'm still facing the front and we can do the left side. Placing your left foot up on your cushion and drawing your hands down to a fold. And reach up, placing the hands in front, we'll pivot halfway and come up so we can do our side stretch. Over and up and away. This one, you just leave your foot there and you're stretching and come back up and over to the left. Nice little stretch and come back up over to the opposite side. And this one is where you can grab your foot if you would like. A little extra challenge there, stretching up. and lower it back down. Okay, 
Now we can have a seat. We're going to place our legs up on the cushion. One thing I'd like to show you though is that the cushion, um, if you turn it over, it has two little bump outs here that will raise the incline of your cushion so you can have different levels if you would like. So for this, I'm going to keep it on the higher level so that I get a deeper fold. Placing your legs up on the cushion and reaching your arms up and we'll just draw down for a forward fold. If you can grab your feet, that's great. If you're grabbing your legs, that's great too. Just keep it in this nice little fold here for your stretch. You can flex your feet or point your feet. You can flex and reach beyond your feet and fold all the way down. If that's in your practice, if it isn't, then you just keep doing what you're doing. As long as you're moving, then you're doing great. Okay, let's take our right foot and bring it down to a tree pose or placing it on the inside of your right of your left thigh and reach forward. And coming up, extend your right leg and draw your left foot down for tree pose on the other side and reaching forward. Notice how comfortable this is. But you wouldn't think it would be because you're in this deep fold that's actually very nice. And come up. Now, let's bring our right foot down. We're going to do half pigeon. So swing your left leg around, keeping your right leg folded up into your body. Now we'll do the same thing. We're doing a forward fold. Just stretching a little bit different the outside right here. And come up and switch legs. And reaching forward again. And come up. Now let's put both of our feet back up on our cushion and we're going to do a reverse plank. So placing your fingers facing your toes and your arms are back behind you and all you're going to do is lift up, lift your hips up, look up at the ceiling and lower back down. Okay. So I'm going to change my cushion now so that it's going to be flatter. And let's get into Malasana, which is a deep squat. We're going to turn our cushion around. So now the high end should be facing, should be closer to you. Placing your hands on the ground, straighten your knees and roll up. Bring your feet together and we'll bring the arms up on the inhale and down on the exhale. We're going to go into warrior three. We'll start with our right leg back, lifting the right leg, pivot your body forward into warrior pose, holding it here, reach down and grab your cushion, more support this way and stretch. Bring both hands down to your mat and extend that right leg up into a standing split. If you want an extra challenge, let's put our left hand on the prone cushion. Right, it's going to bring you up a little bit. Reach back for your right foot. And we'll try sugar cane. Extending that leg up. And now both hands back down onto the floor, standing split, bringing both feet together and rolling up, bringing the arms up and back down. We'll repeat this on the left hand side. Warrior three, lifting the back leg and pivoting the body forward. 
reach out for that cushion, placing the hands here, feeling a little bit more stable. Bring both hands to your mat, stretch that back leg up and do a standing split. If you want the extra challenge, place your right hand on your cushion and reach back for your left foot. If not, you can just stay and work on that standing split. You might lose your balance, but that's what yoga is all about, right? We just keep right on going. Sugar cane, release that foot and bring both hands back down and stretch. Bring both feet together and let's take them hip width apart lower down into Malasana. Okay, now we're going to turn our cushion around so it's facing us again. And let's lower our bodies down right onto this cushion. Very comfortable. We're going to reach up into a small back bend here and lower back down. And take both hands, reach them behind you, clasp your hands, and pull up into locust pose. And back down. Releasing your hands. Now let's reach back with your right hand, grabbing your right foot. And we're gonna pull one leg up and do a little stretch here, half of our wheel. And come back down. And with the other arm reaching back, do the left leg and reach up into our back bend. And back down. Now we'll do both legs. Reach back, you're grabbing both of your feet and lift up and back down if you would like to go a little bit deeper we're going to do this again you're going to lift up the same way but you're going to draw your feet back and it will tip you a little bit further back so drawing up and pull your feet back as you're holding on you're holding on you're holding on into a deeper back bend. And release down. That's actually very comfortable to do on the cushion. Now, let's turn over and lay on our backs. And we'll do a small lift into our um, bridge. Just lifting the hips up. It's just a little back bend here. And back down. Now we'll do wheel, which is a full back bend, reaching the arms up, placing them right by your ears. Now you won't be able to reach the floor yet. You're gonna push with your feet. And while you do that, you're going to slide back and now your hands are going to be on the ground, but you're fully supported by this cushion. And all you have to do is gently lift up. You can walk your feet in, you can walk your feet out. And now you are in a full wheel. And come back down, gently onto your cushion. It is there to save you. Now let's try it one more time because back bends are so fun. Reaching up, placing your hands on the ground, push back and lift up as your hands reach. And maybe you wanna walk your feet out this time. And come back down slowly. Ah, let's bring our knees into our chest. 
and grab onto the backs of your legs and straighten your legs in another great fold. And you always finish in, in Shavasana here, but since I'm not quite done yet, I would like to show you how you can use your cushion for arm balances. So I'm going to turn my cushion around. I found this is a great way um, to practice arm balances because a lot of people are afraid of arm balances because they don't want to land on their face. So if you've got a nice memory foam cushion right here, uh, your face is gonna be fine. So it's a great way to practice your arm balances. I'm gonna demonstrate crow pose. I got both my hands here on the sides of my cushion. I'm gonna bend my knees and my elbows, placing my knees up towards my armpits, leaning forward. This is usually the scary part and Try lifting one leg up at a time, your right leg, and then your left leg. And whenever you feel comfortable, you can lift your right and your left. So this is usually where people fall. And if you do, this is what's gonna happen. So it's really not that bad. You're gonna go a couple of inches forward you will not hit your face on the floor. It's great. So if you would like to try, go ahead and place both of your hands on both sides of your cushion, bringing your knees, drawing your knees into your armpits, lifting up on your toes, bend your elbows, leaning forward, don't be afraid, lifting one and then the other. And voila. You're in crow pose and your face is saved. All right. So that is a short demonstration of how I like to use the prone cushion. And I hope that you um, add this to your collection of props and things that you would use for your yoga and your stretching, because it is a great addition to any practice.